Six seconds, and we get underway. With that pillar of death, we'll see who gets the favorable spawns off the start. Shocks in the open, both of them. But they managed to scurry away, and Shock's going to remember his trademark, playing this back of the, the of basically the ledge, yep. and not peeking until he absolutely has to. He also understands the knife mechanic on the ladder, not to show the gun barrel through the wall. He gets the first kill. Legs up, Mihu. Uh, spawn as well, but good hold. Well, it's great at that position as well. Obviously, he has that whole platform to kind of decide where he's going to be facing from. And when he faces, he potentially has the whole opportunity to see a body, and Mihu will only have his head. Like That's why he's right at the back of that platform. He gets to see most of the map, and Mihu doesn't. So it's a really viable tactic going forward, but... So far, it's Mihu in the lead here, 2-1. And he's actually made himself up to this place as well. And that's going to be the headshot. Shock jumping up there, almost giving his kill away. Obviously, like we said, when you're both on the upper platform, you can't actually see each other until you jump to the wall. There. So both players going for the same mentality. It's going to be Mihu coming to life there, looking incredibly strong. Not going down about a fight, it seems, as he goes 4-1, and 5 The one good thing about this map that I have to say is... Oh, yeah, there, there it is. The you see the gun? The barrel, but big miss. Gives Shocks the kill back to 4-2. The interesting thing about this map is because it's not as easy to hold angles because you can't see each other, it actually does lend itself to a lot of flick shots. That's why we're yep. seeing a lot of, like, really That's true. flick based games in this. Yep, you can see some really cool stuff. Seeds, especially, was showing us what you could do with that, like looking at the complete wrong side of the map. Massive flick shots coming in when you get in the head. 5 2 still. Shox does get one back, but still a lot of work to do here. Round number eight, I think he's behind the pillar of doom here, Shox. So this is where Kenny nope. was basing out with the oh, oh. He second guessed it. Okay. It's very rare to see players coming on top there. It's probably one of the first times we've seen all weekend. Yeah, indeed. We saw Kenny there before, just trying to juggle guns to try and bait out a shot. You know you're in a lot of trouble when you get stuck in the position. Oh. Nearly cratered. He took two damage off himself. He was at 13 when it began. Well then, Shock's bouncing back here. One map will do it for him. He'll be kind of champion. He's just trying to stay on, stay alive and take things to pistols. Round number 10. He's trying to use the knife. Increase the movement speed, bait out a shot. Find shocks dropping back down. Now he's at the Pillar of Doom and Mihu. Second peak, perfect. Indeed. And the difference there is Mihu's actually slide peeking stuff from the top, where shocks would do that crouch peek there. It's an opportunity for both players. Missed out. Well, here comes the game of Peekaboo. That's the first shot. It was going to be, I guess, right on the angle. Neither of them right now. Oh, that's going to be Mishu taking that shot. And now Shocks, he knows where he is. It's the Doom Ooh, by Mishu. Such a fast shot. He's going to be able to take that duel. 7 4 now for Mihu. And Shocks, hands off keyboard and mouse, getting a little break. Apparently works because he's got back into his fifth round. Let's go, let's go. He can relax. He can go easy. It's a white peak. So many angles he could have been at. But luckily for Shox, he uh, takes the right gas, and Mihu doesn't connect with the bullet right now. Shox is behind this Pillar of Doom. Taking a wide angle once again, but that's going to be an opportunity missed by Mihu, but not anymore. He's going to get that kill and make it 8-5. Let's do this and get back in time Mihu now has won the half. Round number 14. Shox is going to bounce back, and once he does so, nice shot from him. He did win the first map. Three round counts in the first half. And we go into the final one. Scouting each other out. A lot more cagey this time. Shock's not even going for the aggressive phases. Hoping Mihu walks into his cross at this point. Not going to be going to the upper platform we talked about so much now. Spotted each other. Mihu stuck behind. The Pillar of Doom. <laughs> Straightforward when you get the information. Doesn't get any closer than this. It's going to be 8 7 in favor of Mihu going into the second half. It's been a very back and forth affair here on the out map. It has indeed. We call it the Pillar of Doom, if you are a new viewer, huh? because you have no extra strategy once you're up there. <laughs> yeah. um, you should be screwed if yeah, you go there. You are done for. Like, you can try and bail out a shot, then you can try and bunny hop out, but you're normally, 9 times out of 10, you're going to be yeah. done for. Look at this peak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very risky, but it pays off this time around. Oh! <laughs> That's so annoying when all you see is the elbow. You're like, is he going to peak? Do I shoot at it? Do I wait? Mihu oh. up by 3, 10 7, late to make it 11 7. And my, we might have a map 3. What better way to decide the well, HTC 1v1? Yeah, I think that cup. would be worthy of a grand final right now. <laughs> what a this shot guy. from Mihu once again. Dude. Through the wall to the head. Roger. The shocks. He's not going to survive that one. Yeah, it's looking like Mihu really is coming to life here. He's hungry. He oh, doesn't want to go down without a. Oh, oh, ladder kind of got him there, I think. That yeah. ladder, though, it's very difficult to kind of stabilize yourself once you're going up. You have a choice to go very slowly and way to the top, or you can try and fly up and drive the opponent. This time didn't work out for him. Shocks takes him down midair. Oh, still, he's moving around very quickly now. 
Oh, it's getting those three rounds in a row. He drops two. Nice patience from Shox there. Not taking the shot on the first peak. Waiting for the second peak, and that's going to be a kill. Oh, and Another Shox kill. is pulling this back now. Mihu needs to hold it together. He missed two flicks. Remember against Kenny, it was 16-14, and Mihu had three big misses that were notable. One of the rounds he did go on to win, so you could take two that Ooh. cost him, but now it's getting too close for comfort. from Shox. It's a nice one, yeah. Getting a bit of a streak here. That's going to definitely be pressure on to Mihu right now, but could not be faced by any of it so far in this tournament. Seems like not even in the Grand Finals. Finally uh, breaks that streak from Shox. Well, <laughs> then well, <laughs> momentarily. <laughs> that one. Mm. Back and forth. Well then, yeah. Swing in A. Still one round in favor of Mihu here. Round number 26. He's going to have a platform. Spot Shoxy. Goes to the wall bang. That's uh, very, uh, I don't know. It's going to be an absolute miracle if a shot like that works out for you, but. Spots him late. They were both up top. The bridge obscuring the vision. Who jumps up on the ledge first? Yeah, well, apparently me who goes for the jump, and Shox holds the angle. It's 13-13. Shox needs three to win it all. Me who needs three just to get to the pistol map. 14-13. That's the advantage gained now. Me who had, what, a five or six round lead there? And this is uh, coming right down to the crunch time now. Two more for Shoxy to do it. This is the frustrating part. When he holds that initial angle for oh. that long, doesn't get information. Shox is already clearing other spots. You know it. So Mihu gets the information, but now he's getting a little bit desperate, firing through the wall, trying to bait it out. Does get across to the ladder, away Ooh. from the Doom Pillar, and that's going to give him the shot onto Shox. 14-14. It really has come around to the, the final moments here on the second this map. Is the, they could be on the right right now, not even looking yeah, at it. Who knows? Shox is always on the platform. Everyone has read him. Don't jump, Mihu. Scary. Game of peekaboo once again. He's going to show his face first. Game. They spot each other, but no connection. Oh, that was shocks. He's having a uh, clear, clear shot at him. Oh, what? Ooh. Did he attack him? That's a miss. An opportunity. Oh, you can tell the pressure might be getting on them. Oh, it's Slightly, one, right? One shot that separates both <laughs> players from um, securing overtime here. So, a lot on the line. One mistake can mean everything here. Oh, that was again one a hole. One man. Uh, he's got One him. He saw him up there. Oh, what? that had ah. to have been it. Mihu needs to slow it down. Long round, and oh. there it is. That could cost him the entire tournament as Shox now has map and championship point. So how fast can the rounds go? He's trying to find Mihu. No one's spotting each other yet. Oop. Does see him coming back down the ladder. Mihu's shoulder peeking, trying to get it out. Gun barrel shown. Shox pre firing, pre holding. Excuse me. Oh, he's trying to climb across. <laughs> Shock's back in his trademark position here. Both players on the upper platform, I think. He's got Ooh, Shock's going up. We're going to overtime. In the grand final of the second map, me who keeps the dream alive just about. Still going to be a little bit questionable about that shot that he missed, but let it go at this point. Overtime, MR5, or excuse me, MR10, rather. Five rounds, and then we swap sides. Well, it's still MR5, yes. Yeah, MR5, five. yeah, whatever. It's long. I've been a while. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we forgive you. This one. Oh, shocks. That this was a good is, swift uh, move. This is what I call ballsy. That was Kenny's style. Look, he's trying to aim down, keep himself in behind these bricks, but this, this is very is ballsy because now he's lost the angle. You can only play these <laughs> cinder blocks if you can cancel out the angle they're playing against you. So he's playing the long game right now. Doesn't want to face it all. Wants to get me who This is cheeky. Himself. He doesn't want to face it all. This is actually he wants to hear until the next read comes in. He heard the footsteps there. Tag him. The face. He actually did leg him there. That's I think cool. it is, yeah. Yep. yep. First round of overtime does go in favor of me who. Second round out. Bit of a ballsy push, like he said. Shock bouncing back there. 16-16. Takes round number two. Oh, shocks. If you uh, like to see a back and forth battle, I think you have one. Stay right here yeah, we always want the grand final to be as close as possible. But now we're in overtime on the second map. Hmm. Me who fighting. He's got to He's got to know it. Misses the shot on the jump. That's a problem. Shock's already fired before that. But he's not going to repeat the angle, and Shock stays above. Mihu's gone down on the ground, but where? And Shox, Alex, I don't know if he meant to fall there, because you wouldn't fall behind the Pillar of Doom. You wouldn't leave yourself with no options, but Shox has done exactly that. No one's gone out toward the tree so far this game. At all. Well, we did see Shox go towards those mid plays, but didn't really work out for him. So that's how you get out of that horrible position in the middle. 
knife out, hope for the best. A lot of players have met their doom in there. That's what they're doing. Oh, yeah, the works. timing! Yeah. I think that was Miku just moving as Sharks takes the peak. Oh, that's going to put him at 18 16 lead. 3 1 right now. Yeah, 3 1 on the overtime. Oh, that should have been a kill. Instead, it's going to be Miku. 3 2 for uh, half time. Doesn't get closer than this, boys. And now they split. It was 8 7 the first time as well. Absolutely right. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw double overtime here, but it's going to be shocks with a slight advantage going into the second half here. Indeed, won the first map. Oh, two. what? what? That? Miu, that's a free shot! Makes up for it. 3-3. Three, three. We'll take 21 rounds to Together, the victor here. 2020 will be another overtime. To be fair, sometimes there's free shots when you, when you don't realize you have that much time. You flip thinking you have to. It's kind of like a goaltender in hockey being too fast and the puck goes under the glove rather than over it because you're just expecting that muscle memory and the reaction time to just have to be perfect. Number seven now. Both players on the upper platform once again. This is always such a scary angle to face. Jumping on that wall is so exposed. Kind of banking on your opponents. Not moving. Like that for me so far. Can we get back up there? And Shoxi is aware of his position. You just don't have any vision though when you're up here. Hoping they walk into your crosshair. This is so ballsy once again, just standing here, because Miku could be coming from anywhere, but Shock still manages to get it. He gets a little bit of a sneak peek on Miku before he makes an actual peek from that angle. But again, this wow. is close. 19, 19. 20, 19. 21. 20, 21 is the magic number that both players are looking for. But like Henry said, I wouldn't be surprised myself either if they would, this could go to a double overtime. Miku does hold it, though, and he is going to be the first one on map point in overtime. Keep that in mind. Shocks did have it in regulation. If he gets this shot, if he can pull it off, it will be onto the pistols. If Shocks ties it up, we go straight into double OT. Me who stops himself midair because Shocks nearly had the angle. Me who desperately close on the second try. Now he's getting oh. aggressive. Refaces it. Me who's got the off map. We are going to map three to design our.